Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I am doing a get ready with me again. Um, a lot of you guys have been talking about like tutorials and um, makeup and all that stuff. And I love doing my makeup. It's one of my favorite things. I feel like it's really calming for me. However, I personally don't ever want to do like tutorials because I know tips and tricks personally that I've learned over the years because I've been doing my makeup for quite some time now. But, you know, like I feel like I'm not there where I can be like, this is a tutorial and this is how it's done because I'm still learning how to do certain things. I do like bare minimum for my makeup, especially these days. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a more full face. And I agree. I haven't worn a full face of makeup in probably a long time. Okay, I think I'm going to go with like my normal glam makeup. I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is and I only use like two products on my eyes because I'm a lazy person when it comes to eyeshadow. People out there who know how to blend their eyeshadows and have the patience for that, go you because I don't. Obviously starting off with primer per usual, it kinda looks, ooh, I'm not even gonna say girl. I'm not even gonna say. I'm just going to blend it in. It looks like bird shit. That's what it looks like. And for you, those of you who thought otherwise, y'all nasty. That's what it is. I'm also gonna put professional Then I'm going to go in with concealer, like I always do, and I'm just going to cover up the spots that are like extremely pigmented than I would like them to be. I'm going to use the Morphe E46 brush to just buff it all in. Oh, and I use the Tarte. Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium for this. I don't know what's going to happen to my brows because when I used to go out or when I do a full face of makeup, I usually put on... I usually do my brows, so I don't know what's going to happen because... <laughs> I've been doing this whole natural brow thing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my favorite foundation, which is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I would say it's like medium to full coverage. For those of you worried because you have acne or oily skin, I would say maybe this isn't your go-to foundation for that. Um, it definitely luminizes you, and I feel like when I was younger, I always wanted matte. I hated being shiny. Over the years, I've definitely come to like more of the, like, glassy, like, soft, real skin kind of vibes, because I feel like matte just makes you look so dull, and I feel like sometimes matte can also make you look cakier than you actually are. But this is my favorite foundation. I love it. I use it for full faces, light faces, whatever mood I'm in. So since today we are doing a full face of makeup, I'm going to go in with foundation, which I haven't done this kind of full face in forever. This foundation also does not come with a pump, so I use a concealer brush. One of the reasons why I like putting concealer first, you use less foundation trying to cover those blemishes. I'm going in with the Fenty sponge. And just kind of making sure that that all blends together.
I technically can go back and still conceal some spots, but I'm gonna leave that because I've learned that the more I pack it on, the more it's just obvious that I'm trying to hide something. So, I'm just gonna go in under my eyes with Light Neutral from Tarte and go a little bit. Just do a little bit. I, I'm not into the whole like, anymore I just do a little bit under my eyes and that's really all I need now every makeup look is different for everybody some people need the under eye concealer some people don't um, it really is your preference and what you work with with your face. I feel like every day I'm still learning new things about my face when it comes to makeup. Like my eyebrows, it's a new trend that I started for myself. But I think that's a learning thing. Like I didn't learn to like my skin. Like I didn't learn to do less for foundation until recently. Probably like a year ago. A long time ago I used to like pack it on. I only bake when it's a special occasion or if I know my makeup is supposed to last me for a really long time. Because other than that, I don't really wear makeup for very long. So I'm going to go in here with Benai Luxury Powder in Cameo and go under my eyes. I'm also making sure to really pack it on under my eye because once I start doing my eyeshadow, there probably will be fallout. I'm also getting my temples because that's where I tend to get the most oily. Get my nose. I'm trying to see what else I do because I haven't gotten ready in a long time. Oh. I also always get my nose. I think I'm going to keep my brows natural like I always do. I don't think I want to draw them in, even though I'm doing like a full face of makeup. Okay, now I'm finished with my brow and now I'm gonna move on to my eyes. I am telling you guys that I am the laziest when it comes to eyeshadow. One, I'm not that great at it, so I have learned how to half-ass it basically for my eyes. I use literally like two eyeshadows and I'm good to go. It looks like it's presentable and the eyelashes, the eyelashes are the reason why it even comes together. I wish I was helpful with my eyeshadows, but this actually is just a collection of eyeshadows that I have over the years. Ooh, actually, this one is Makeup Geek. So this one's my favorite shade. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that shade? This shade is like a go-to shade. You need this shade in your life. This one specifically is Creme Brulee from this specific shade is from Makeup Geek and it's called Creme Brulee. It literally, you need one of those soft browns that's so diverse. So that color, using Creme Brulee, I'm literally just going to pack it on my crease. Just to kind of start it off as like a blending shade. This is my way of Putting in the effort, but not really like makeup artist putting in the effort. It's like different, you know? There's a difference. And then from here is where it gets really easy. <clears throat> I'm going to take a flat brush 
This one is the Sigma Eye Shading E55, a flat brush, and pack it on like a gold or you can kind of use any. I have some down here. I have no idea where these are from. These actually don't have any names on them. I don't think I've ever shown you guys my go-to palette, but this is basically my go-to. I can take this anywhere. It has like all the shades that I really need. Obviously, you can tell that these are very loved as well as that creme brulee. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know if I want to do this one or this one. This one is a little more pink and this one's a little more gold. I might do both. What I like to do is, I pick it up. I'm going to do a mixture of them. I'm just going to gently place it onto my lid. I don't like to pass my crease because I don't want shimmer up there. So I just kind of map it out first to shape my eyelids. And then while it's looking like this, I'm going to take another brush and dip it into creme brulee and a little bit darker. And then I'm going to blend out the edges. Sorry if the angle changed you guys, I had to change out the battery. So you can leave it like this, wear your lashes and you're pretty much done, add a line or whatever you'd like. For me, I like to really pop because when I wear the lashes that I wear, they're so thick on my eyes that you can't really see the eyeshadow. Grab the eyeshadow that's on your eyelid and then you're gonna spray it. And then when you pack it on, it gets all metallic-y. I only do this really in the center of the eyeshadow. I don't do it all around because I don't want a huge like metallic eyeball. But you can already see there when the light hits. Then I'm gonna do the other eye. You can also obviously darken the corners. You can obviously also darken up the outer corners. I personally don't like the way it looks on my eyes and the reason is because my eyes are already really small. The darker I go with my eyeshadow, the smaller my eyes appear and I already put on pretty full lashes. So I actually like to leave it here. You can totally revise it however you'd like. You can add darker, you can go smokier, you can do whatever you want. But the most I would do to this is probably like a, like a dark eyeliner. Speaking of eyeliner, because I haven't done an eyeliner in a really long time, I feel like I kind of want to. Okay, I haven't worn eyeliner in a really long time, so let's hope this goes well. I rarely wear eyeliner. If anything, I do like eyeshadow eyeliner, but I haven't done gel liner in a very long time. Or like liquid liner in a very long time. Actually, before I do that, you need to strategize, you guys. I'm going to curl my lashes first because when I curl my lashes after my eyeliner, because I have Asian eyes, it ruins everything. So I'm going to do my eyelashes first. Okay, I don't know how far I'm pulling out my eyeliner. I just realized, I was like, dang, is that too far? Let's hope I can do it on the other side. And the best part is, there's always concealer. See? Easy fix. Okay, and then this is where I go ahead and wipe away all that under eye nonsense. And the best part is, if you had fallout, it just kind of brushes away with everything. My going out lashes are Mykonos by Lily Lashes. They are my favorite. They're super dramatic. Don't get me wrong, but they are my favorite. They are so beautiful. They look like this. 
they're so pretty so because i have eyeliner on i'm gonna use a black glue um i believe house of lashes makes a black glue i have a new one down there but i'm still using this one this one is from velour so good thing is i already pre-curled but i'm gonna have to curl again because my eyelashes just are like that I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my waterproof mascara. I only use waterproof because that's the only thing that holds up a curl. I might... I'm just gonna do a little bit. I look so funny without lashes on. I can't believe I used to not wear lashes. Like, the fuck? I'm gonna go in with my lash. I'm gonna go in with my left first. And because I'm wearing eyeliner, I can go for that lifted effect at the end. And what I mean by that is instead of curving with your eye, it goes out with your eyeliner. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in and cover up the eyeshadow from previously used to darken it up okay now I'm gonna finish powdering my face I use studio fix powder foundation it's my favorite it's been my favorite since I was a teenager and I'm gonna go in with bronzer my favorite bronzer is the Laura Geller bronzer in Beach Matte Siesta Medium. Then I'm gonna go in with blush. Today we're feeling adulty. We wanna look more mature. I don't know why the blush looks so pigmented on camera. I promise you it's not that much. I'm not gonna put any on my nose because I feel like when I do the nose thing, I look like really young. Then I'm gonna go in with highlight. My favorite highlight is Hustla Baby from Fenty Beauty. Literally the best highlight ever. Don't forget your brow bone. I love a good highlight on your brow bone. Then my inner corners. My nose. You can do your cupid's bow. I don't usually do it, but that's up to you. I'm gonna show you two lip combos. I'm gonna do one where it's my, I'm gonna do my first one, which is like my go-to, which is just like a nude gloss. I'm gonna use my favorite lip pencil in Oak.
I'm gonna go ahead and fill a little bit of it in with Velvet Teddy. You can leave it like this if you don't like gloss, but I usually always like gloss. And of course, it has to be Fenty. So this is my usual go-to look, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with a red lip too, because I think it would be really pretty. This is what I would wear to like a holiday party, I guess. First things first, I'm going to draw my lips with a lip liner. Um, this one's Follow Your Heart from MAC. I'm gonna go in with my favorite red, which is the ColourPop Lemonade, no, Melonade. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is my look with a red lip. Usually I go a little bit more ham with the blush because when I wear a red lip, it usually kind of washes out my face. I'm pretty sure it's just the coloring in the lip because it's just so pigmented, so it takes away from everything. So I usually have to add a little bit more color into my face. And this is pretty much the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I know you guys haven't seen me in a red lip. I haven't seen myself in a red lip in a really long time. A lot of the times when people see me wear red lips, I feel like they always automatically assume I look like Mulan. But it's probably just the dark hair too. I hope you guys enjoyed it, whether you like the nude lip or the red lip. And if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!